It's everywhere you look in Lagos, on the streets and drains of Hybro Victoria Island, as well as places considered to be the neighborhoods of the less privileged. I'm talking about waste. An estimated 14,000 metric tons of waste are generated in Lagos every day. And most of it is improperly disposed, constituting health and environmental hazards. In this feature, Plus TV Africa's Messi Abebo delves into the waste disposal culture of everyday Lagosians. July the 16th was a day many people who work at the marina, a business district in Lagos, which never happened. This was what the parking lots of marina looked like as it rained all day. Even after the rain stopped, it took hours before the floodwaters receded. This is one of the reasons. It's blocked drains. Dumping waste in the gutters and water channels is a terrible thing to do. By throwing your waste, especially things like nylon bags and those pure water sachets, into those water channels, your very action might be responsible for people dying, especially children. Because those water channels is where the flood water from the rain will go. And if it's blocked, then you get floods. Visit to some parts of Ajigunle or Balinde, Marowa, Ado, Badu Ratio, clogged drains, stagnant water, and lack of water channels. These people agree to improper disposal of waste. I looked at them on the road, to be frank. Because when you look around, you, don't, you, couldn't, you can't find any waste being around. Just put them on the road. Put them anywhere you find it. Um, comforts. We try it on the road now. <laughs> this is Nigerian. <laughs> it is a common place for people to dump bags of waste on the roadsides of Addo and Badore in our Jar area. But that doesn't mean there aren't residents of Lagos who dispose of their waste properly. You see this dirty now. This is not be dirty. When I use it, finish. I can use it for my oil. But that place where we are staying, selling markets, after we clean that place, I will sweep that place. After I sweep it, I put it inside the nylon and took it there. So if you want to come, go, want to carry and go. In my house, we do to put it inside one black uh, nylon. Then we put it at the gates. Then the lawman that we used to pay them, they will come around and pick the, the refugees every Monday, at times twice in a week. They will come down and pick the refugees. Those who do it properly pay a monthly bill to enable private contractors, known as private sector participants or PSPs, evacuate the waste the government designated dump sites. But Maja Kudumi says there is a better way. This practice of dumping the waste outside the house or just in the median on the road so the waste collectors can come and pick it up is not the best. It's not the best. But also from ourselves as individuals, we have to ensure that we put our waste in a place where it can be better collected. Is it so difficult to have your community, if it's a very dense community, have a few dustbins? Lagos States generates more than 14,000 metric tons of refuse every day, according to its Ministry for the Environment and Water Resources, but only 70% of that goes to approved dump site. This means the remaining 30%, amounting to 4,200 metric tons, find its way to illegal dump sites, the streets and the drainages. That is enough waste to fill 5.6 million regular bottles of water illegally dumped in Lagos State every day. Messi Ibuko for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.